guys, we are growing up without borders and today we'd like to welcome you to Karachi, Pakistan. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five on a crazy mission to visit every country in the world. We arrived in Pakistan via the Waga border where we walked across and visited Lahore, Islamabad, Peshawar and Murray and this was our last stop here in Karachi before heading back towards Europe. We started leaving Murray down to Islamabad where we enjoyed some nice food. Okay, we are yet again having some typical tip Pakistani food which is so good. So we had like these chicken rolls. We didn't really film it too much because we were all so hungry. So what it is inside, it's like a wrap with chicken and onions and salad and it's really good. And now we're having just some cheese paratas, some of our favorites. They didn't have the chicken cheese, but this is still really good. And after that, we started the mad dash to get to the airport, which included going all the way to Adnan's house to get our luggage that we had left there and trying to navigate through the traffic in Islamabad to get to our airplane on time. We literally arrived at the airport within 10 minutes of our plane leaving. How are we supposed to get our luggage on in that amount of time? I don't know. This is so crazy. Can you please I don't know. this bag? It's too heavy for you. I don't know how this always happens, but like seriously, oh if, the fact that we're making this plane is an absolute miracle. Here we go. We're gonna make it literally five minutes before the plane leaves. Oh my gosh. You have all my passports, right? Yep. Okay. Thank you. I'm about to pee my pants. I am too. I've never been so stressed out in my life. I think, like, it's either I still have oh, a stomach bug. Wait, is that our suitcase there? Probably. Like, I'm already stressed from traveling. This adds a whole new level. And because I was a bit sick, my stomach was turning, turning, turning. And I wasn't sure if it was because of being stressed out and then having to run. We're making it on the plane. This is a miracle. Yeah, we made it on. <laughs> I was so stressing on the way here, I couldn't even vlog. Like, I was so stressed out. I'm just so happy we're on this flight. So, they just served us some food. We got what's like a biryani, mutton, and vegetables. And then we got this. It's splattered. I don't know, it's like some green yogurt thing, and it's kind of. Warm, so I don't know. I think maybe you're supposed to eat it with your food, but it splattered all over me. But that's okay. And then there's this kind of wait. Cake, smell it. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's okay. We'll forever be grateful for this airline because if it weren't for them waiting for us, we could have missed our flight for tomorrow. Out of here. Never been so excited to land in a city before. Thank you! Bye! Alright, so we've arrived. All of our luggage is here. They actually check your baggage tags when you leave to make sure you have all your luggage and stuff. And I'm really glad we got our luggage because since it was like we almost missed our flight, it could have been it was delayed or not been able to put it on, but it's here. It's here and yeah. we're good to go. Now we're going to go check in at an amazing cozy hotel. We'll show you the rooms and we'll call it a night. And lastly, before we go any further, if you're coming to Pakistan and you're traveling with an international card, this here is the only bank machine that works. Same goes for the Australians, the New Zealanders, and the Canadians, apparently. This is the one that works for us, so standard charter bank. All the other ones just reject your card, so just FYI. All right, let's go. Ramada Plaza Karachi 
And it's amazing. We've been able to partner with them to be able to showcase not only this property, but they also have a Ramada Creek um, by Karachi. So it's going to be amazing. We're going to show you that tomorrow morning. We're only technically staying one and a half nights because we fly out tomorrow morning, like t tomorrow night morning at 4 a.m. So we're going to stay till midnight, get refreshed and just get some rest, repackage our suitcases before we take the plane. So we're gonna head to the airport at midnight. So technically you can say this is 24 hours in Karachi. It's gonna sound maybe a little bit funny, but because we've been staying in all sorts of hotels and the one we just stayed in last night had no water pressure, the shower head to me is looking really good right about now. I'm so excited to have a nice shower, get ready for bed and hit the road tomorrow morning. We need to do a huge shout out to two people who have made, well, three technically, who have made it possible to get here to Karachi in one piece. One is Adnan, our driver that we met in Islamabad the very first night. He has literally not only taken us around everywhere by car, he's been like our bodyguard. He's been our person to negotiate and figure out making sure the prices were right for restaurants and stuff. And he's also like kind of like, put people to the side you know because if not you get people asking you for money all the time all day long so he's been amazing and he's like the mario andretti he got us to the airport so fast and there was so much traffic and we were dodging in and out of cars so i'm putting his link or to his i'm gonna put his whatsapp below i hope he's okay with this so if you're coming to islamabad and you need a good driver and someone amazing like that there's the link second person is hassan hassan is the guy who works as a travel booking agent for airlines. I'm not sure if he works for several of them or just for Serene Airlines, but he literally saved the day because we weren't able to book the flights, as I already said, with our credit card. We put it through, it went through on our credit card, and then it didn't spit out the tickets. So they had an issue with their website. They weren't allowing international um, credit cards. So basically he paid for the flights for us, and now we're gonna wire him back the money. So. Who and where have you ever heard of anyone doing that in your life? That's just amazing. And the third one is just to the Serene Airlines for waiting for us, for waiting for us to board. Literally, we showed up at the airport 10 minutes before the departure and Julia and Chloe were holding the flight, yeah. technically, and Tyler came to help us with the luggage and Angelique and Tyler and I just ran through security, and ran through the lineups. They got our luggage on, they got our luggage to us. So hats off to you guys and thank you so much. We had a really good, much needed rest, woke up the next morning, and although we would have loved to enjoy the facilities, we had to get going to hit the road to go tour Karachi. Then we went to check out their breakfast. They had a really large selection of different foods, local foods, and a little bit of everything. So far this is amazing because we have blue skies this morning. It looks gorgeous out, literally blue skies. And the last few days has been nothing but pouring rain. So this is gonna be an amazing day here in Karachi. Now let's see if they have some strong coffee to wake me up, so I'm gonna need it today. So this is where my cappuccino came from this morning. So here at the Ramada Plaza Karachi, they have an opera cafe. So it's a full cafe with all the cakes and yummy treats. Starting the day here in Karachi at this beautiful beach area. Hello. Thank you. So this beach here spans all across. It gets extremely busy with all the locals that are coming down just to refresh themselves and enjoy the beautiful waterfront. We're going to show you some of the top things to see and do here when you come to Karachi, especially if you only have 24 hours. 
here's where we're gonna show. We're starting at the beach because it's still blue skies and not so rainy. So let's get let's get this day on. It's a good start. I don't like snakes. And they have cobra snake shows here where they have the rattlesnake. They snakes. play a song and it comes out and it's next thing you know you're dead. I'm like, nee, nee, nee. If the snake, if I see a snake, I'm out of here. Well, I mean, it's fine, but it's just like, if it's a real Have you ever cobra, seen, I don't know that I've ever been on a beach this wide before. Like, it well, no, spans it's, yeah, it's, all the way down like that. So It's probably a good 5 to 10 kilometers or more even. It like, distance-wise. Yeah, it easier. kind of it reminds me of... And when we were in Chennai, India, me and my dad went out, and the beach went on and on for Same ages. Same thing. And it looked like you were in a desert. Same thing like here. Except for here, there's a lot of trash, guys. Please try to pick it up. Lots of people wondering what we're doing here. And the guys with the snakes, well, they just want us to film it so then they can ask for money. But pretty crazy because they literally brought the cobra snake out of its box. Oh my gosh. So I don't know too much what this clock tower is, but it looks like it's a food bazaar. And I think if you come at night, you can get lots of delicious food along the way as well. Hey, Julia, what time of year is it? It's that time of year where we are back home and our suitcases are rough and they're done with travel. And we just got our brand new suitcases from Level 8. Ta -da! This is Level 8. They are a luggage brand. They have suitcases like this. They also have accessories like travel backpacks and travel cubes, which is always handy. We are so happy to be working with Level 8 because they are strong, durable suitcases. They have really good smooth wheels and they're very lightweight. Yes. Huge difference because we know our family, when we travel, we try and pack in as much as we can. So having a light suitcase means all the difference. And they wheel so nicely. Yeah. They're so, they're quiet and they wheel like I'm spinning it right now. You can't even hear it. They also have TSA locks, so you know your luggage will always be secure. That's also a great thing to have. And something that's really cool that we've never had before is a laptop yes. pocket. Let's show you how that works. So how it works, you've got a front pouch at the front, and when you open it, it has this entire pouch where you can put your laptop or books, notes, papers, anything you might need but you don't necessarily want with all your clothes, and it's easy access when you just want to quickly grab it. This is great for like weekend getaways. Yeah, there's lots of little pouches to organize everything. It's a great suitcase for, yeah, if you're on a work vacation or you want lots of organization. So to see all the different colors of suitcases and types, go to gordonalpagabordersport slash level eight. And we don't get a deal unless you get a deal. And so level eight is giving you guys 10% off by using our coupon code, which is GUWB10. Go check out the link below. And now let's get back to the video. Karachi is the sixth most populated city in the world with over 15 million people. That's double the size of London! It used to be the capital city here of Pakistan, but it's lost its role to Islamabad in 1967. It's got the third largest mosque in the entire world that stands 99 meters tall and was be finished being built in 2021. One beautiful area to come to is Ferry Hall where you can enjoy all the beautiful gardens and grounds around it. 
So this part demonstrates what you can do with plastic if you recycle it. It's made from 2,500 kilos of plastic, and they're showing the city that if you litter on the street your plastic, it'll just end up on the street. But if you put it in a recycling bin, you'll have beautiful parks like this. Hi! Oh, These beautiful families all gonna come on the motorcycle. Tangible dead. <laughs> all together, yeah? Yeah. From which country you belong? Canada. Canada, oh my god. Yeah. So many people have a dream destination. <laughs> yeah, there's a yeah. lot of people from Pakistan yeah. and Just Canada. Just I came from Malaysia and now I'm applying from Australia. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, I hope Persian you get the Australian visa. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's good. In Tasmania. Tasmania. Yeah, wow, Mali very nice. New Zealand's yeah. a good country too, but Australia is fantastic. That's great. Yeah, my brothers are there already. Nice. Yeah, yeah so, so a lot of so better they are chance. sponsoring me to came there. Cool. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Safe travels. Okay. Bye. It's ice cream o'clock for Angelique, right Angelique? Yes, very important, very, very important. important. Let's see what they've got here. Something we always get is freezies because they cool you down because it is so hot. I think today's like maybe 30 degrees, 35, I don't know. You have some popsicles. What do you have? Oh, you got lots of good stuff in there. <gasps> nice. I think this one maybe. Is that good, girls? Orange? There's this one too. Mm -hmm. What would you like? That's great. Do you want one, Chloe? No. Thank you. Behind me looks to be some sort of important monument from Queen Mary. And I'm enjoying my popsicle, it's really good. <laughs> Definitely worth it. So these gardens here are literally in the heart of the city. And as you can see, they are pretty massive. It goes all the way down to the seafront, which is the Arabian Sea in front of us. And this used to be a whole pier. This beautiful building behind me is the Mohata Palace, which is a museum, but it wasn't always a museum. This was the beautiful summer home of a very wealthy, yes, extremely wealthy businessman from what is now known as the modern day state of Rajasthan. He only was able to enjoy it for a short period of time. And then once the partition took place, well, he had to leave. And so now it's become an amazing museum to go see. He built it in 1927 and he built it out of those beautiful pink stones that you see from Jaipur. So we saw that all over when we were visiting Jaipur, the city, the whole city was like that and he built it with that as well as some Yellowstone which is local to this area. It's also in the very posh neighborhood of Clifton. It's the Empress Market Garden where you can buy all sorts of vegetables, fruits, even animals and it dates back to when the British were here. This market was actually founded in 1889 you guys. The 
this is a very important monument here in all of Pakistan because this is where the founder of Pakistan is laid to rest, Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Oh my gosh, Rama's like a little baby. It's so cute. So the Ramada has a couple properties here. Right now we are at the Ramada Creek location and we want to show you guys just a couple of their rooms just to showcase their location because this is one of the prime things that they have to offer. So when you come in, you can order some beautiful, amazing treats and cafes at the wonderful cafe. And let's go upstairs and show you what it looks like from there. So as you can see, they have this big, huge, almost like a rooftop banquet facility and restaurant. And you have views all the way to Clifton and all the way through the DHA section. You can literally see all of Karachi from up here. Actually, the restaurant name here is Lemon Grill. And of course, they have the flavors of the ocean because they are right beside the ocean. Here we are, this is the Orchard Suite. So when you come in here, it is a full-on suite with a beautiful living room. And then you come into here where you have a beautiful, spacious bedroom. After doing a full tour of the hotel, it was time to head over to find some delicious food. So it's currently 5 p.m. I haven't had food since breakfast, and at breakfast all I had was one roll and a couple mushrooms. So I've hardly eaten it, and I'm so hungry. Everyone's hungry. We're all getting to our max, like we're done. So we're gonna go quickly find some food, but it's just crazy. And my mom wasn't feeling good because she's just coming over a bug, and we're all just kind of so iffy. Like some of us don't feel as good. Like even I didn't feel that good this morning. But yesterday, thankfully, we did get uh, some chicken shawarma wraps for like a brunt, like a lumber. So. We've had a little bit of food, but since that, we're starving now. We really gotta go get food. We have an assortment of food. We have some kebabs, this one's cheese, this one's just normal. We've got some vegetable fried rice, and some naan, third type of naan. Our journey back to the airport was absolutely wild because there was so much traffic on the road and because it's monsoon season there was a lot a lot of rain and so it made it very challenging to drive and it's something we've never ever experienced before in our lives oh my gosh these cars are like in the river in the water like what holy this is wild all right, it is one in the morning and we are at the International Karachi Airport. To get in, you go through a little security checkpoint as most places you do that here. Look at this, our luggage is going directly to Geneva. So we don't have to carry it through and that's great. So we do have a layover, which you'll see soon, where we're heading. Thanks so much for watching our tour of Karachi, Pakistan. Hope you guys love the tour in 24 hours. Please subscribe, give us a big thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.